Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're gonna make the rear of our Rebel look like the front by adding these awesome marker lights. This, my friends, is the rear lights off of a TRX. Um, I went ahead and ordered a replacement part for this part because I want to add it to my Rebel. Um, you may be wondering, well, what are these other things you've got? Well, we're going to have to strip some wire and, and do this a little differently. We don't have a plug, so that may be get, that, that may get interesting. We're going to have to strip off the loom, separate the wires out, and find a good ground for the black. We're not going to be able to use these fasteners because this cannot sit flush where we're putting it. So we're going to use some aluminum spacers and some longer machine screws. The batteries to test it to make sure it looks the way I think it's going to look with the three lights. Um, now, if we do this right, uh, it's going to match the front marker lights. It's going to have the three lights in the back. So stick with me and see how it goes. Hey guys, how's it going? I want to do a quick uh, editor's interlude here at Venom Rebel 2020 headquarters. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Every one little number that goes up gives us fuel in the tank to keep going. Thanks guys. Now you might be wondering, are you really going to clip this part off of a $45 light? Yeah. There's no way to use this part, so it's going to come off. Next thing is we gotta strip this loom. Sick. So as you can see, it's got the coveted three light look, or at least it's coveted by me. While we're sitting here talking about it, we're going to have to drop the spare to be able to get to it. So we just want to pull this piece out, unscrew this guy. There we go. Tool into that to drop the spare. So hang with me. to be a falcon wild peak so that's a nice nice little spare it's not a 35 but i guess it'll get me out of a jam if i need it so we want to be 25 that'll be right in the middle We were just a bit too high. We opened the tailgate and it clipped it just a little bit. So we're actually gonna go through this 
hole that's already here. This is a very important step. For some reason it didn't film it uh, the first time I did this. But if you're going to drill on the left hand side, you have got to remove these electronics. Uh, they just slide right off. See how that comes off of there? You want to take it all the way off and move them far away because you don't want your drill bit coming through here and puncturing any of this sensitive electronic equipment. So the next step is to put on our aluminum spacers. And that's going to give us just a little bit of travel we need to clear the obstacles on these 5th gens. So, go from there. And then on the back of these, in case you're curious, I'm going to use lock nuts uh, and some washers. So let's see if we can get it mounted up. Okay, now that we're on, it looks like we're clearing it. So you can see it kind of rests on it. Those are the spacers. But we get no contact with the wire and minimal contact with the light. What I did under here, um, I lopped off the bolt so that you should be able to get these right back where they were. So let me try that real quick. Okay, so there's no issue getting those right back where they went. If you use the same hole I did, uh, you just have to cut the excess of the bolt and you know that's what something like that's for so just be careful when you're under here with the reciprocating saw uh, you may accidentally chew up a little bit of this plastic but make sure you don't nick any of these wires because you'd be having a problem if you did that so um, next we have to figure out what to do with these wires um, like I said there's no factory plug-in here for this piece uh, which means it's, it's not going to be for everybody. But I want to take, I think I want to ground the black over here to this bolt. I'm going to have to add a little bit on here. Um, and then as far as the red goes, I'm planning to go into this. I just don't know exactly where yet. So stay tuned. We're back. Um, I did the ground here where the other ground is. Just made sure it was nice and tight in there. Um, I'm going to be putting some loom on here and doing some cable management in a minute. As far as tapping into this, I was tempted to tap into one of these wires, but I've heard stories of how that can bite you, so I left it alone. I went ahead and just took the hot and I used a pair of tweezers basically to get it down in uh, right here. Now this is the brown wire. So this is actually going to be exactly like the TRX in the sense that the marker lights are only going to come on when the headlights and tail lights are on. So um, we're going to test it out here in a second. But before I button it back up, I'm just going to smear some dialectic in here while I've got it off. Um, make sure that wire is seated down in there tight. I can always change the position of the wire to change what the lights do. But for now, I think I'm going to go full... Uh, <laughs> TRX clone and uh, wired up the way that, th that supposedly they are. So my dialectic is just uh, a little bit of super lube. I'm just going to smear some in there and put it all back together. So there's my dialectic grease. As you can tell, I don't really skimp. Uh, the wire can kind of come right out right there where this spot is. Um, let's kick it on and before we put everything back and do our wire management, let's make sure that it runs the way we think it does. Okay, here we are. The lights are on. We're running the way we want them to. When the tail lights and headlights are on. So, uh, now it's time just to do some cable management, wire management, and uh, wrap everything up nice. Make sure it's loomed, make sure it's up out of the way. 
So here we are with the uh, cable management <laughs> happening. So we tied our ground here, got some loom, went over, tied into the power uh, with the loom, separate piece. Did a little silicone where they butt and uh, that should work. 